Hi, welcome to Education Leaves. In this video, you are going to learn predictive maintenance. The topics I am going to discuss are what is predictive maintenance? How does predictive maintenance work? What are the advantages of predictive maintenance? What are the disadvantages of predictive maintenance? Let's start the video. Predictive maintenance is one of the types of maintenance, that monitor the condition and performance of equipment during normal operation. By doing so, maintenance managers and technicians are able to identify possible defects, and fix them before they result in failure. In fact, 91% of manufacturers who deployed a predictive maintenance program saw a reduction in repair time, as well as a 9% increase in equipment uptime, and a 20% extension in the life cycle of aging assets. Similar to preventive maintenance, predictive maintenance is a proactive strategy that aims to eliminate asset breakdowns. But, unlike preventive maintenance, predictive maintenance tries to predict when equipment might fail, with the use of IoT devices and sensors. This allows maintenance frequency to be as low as possible, to avoid a costly reactive strategy. If you want to know about preventive maintenance, check that video in the description. Now come to, how does predictive maintenance work? The first step in practicing predictive maintenance is establishing baselines. You need to monitor the asset's conditional baselines, and collect data before installing sensors. That way, when you begin to collect conditional data, there is a control to compare any abnormalities to. To effectively collect the right data, Predictive maintenance programs have to be paired with the right condition monitoring technology. In particular, a CMMS and multiple IoT enabled devices. The Internet of Things or, IoT, plays a key role in the process of forming an efficient predictive maintenance strategy. By collecting the necessary data from condition monitoring sensors, IoT devices can take the data and connect it to a maintenance management system. From there, it's simple, any time a piece of equipment performs outside of normal parameters, the sensors trigger your predictive maintenance protocol. Typically, a work order is generated in your CMMS, and assigned to technicians so they can perform any required repairs to address the anomaly. The information captured by predictive maintenance sensors can vary depending on your equipment and machines. Examples include Infrared imagery. Through the use of infrared cameras, technicians are able to detect high temperatures for worn components such as electrical wiring. Acoustic analysis. It's seen as a cheaper alternative to ultrasonic imagery, acoustic analysis helps to detect liquid, gas, and vacuum leaks. Vibration analysis. Sensors can be used to determine an increase or decrease in the vibration of essential components such as pumps and compressors. Oil analysis. It allows engineers to constantly check the condition of a machine's oil lubricant and determine if it has been compromised by other particles and contaminants. Now move on to what are the advantages of predictive maintenance. 1. Minimizes unplanned downtime of mission critical assets. 2. Reduces time spent on maintenance. 3. Increase the life expectancy of machines and equipment, in some cases by 20 to 40 percent. 4. Reduces machine breakdowns and unexpected failures. 5. Minimizes costs spent on labor, spare parts, and equipment. 6. Reduces stock of spare parts due to increased service life of assets. 7. Improves safety throughout the workplace for technicians and operators. What are the disadvantages of predictive maintenance? 1. Detailed and time-consuming planning to ensure this maintenance approach is deployed throughout each facility and details all assets. Two. Purchasing the right condition monitoring equipment which can result in high upfront cost. 3. Hiring skilled staff or training maintenance teams which can be expensive. If you want to read in details, or download the PDF, go through the link in the description. 
Like, share the video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.